McDonald's Frontiers in Flight Air Show gets underway tomorrow. Many are expected there, in fact, thousands for this two-day event. So what can you expect? 12 News reporter Brock Wilson spent much of the day on base getting a lay of the land. Here's what you need to know before you go. Frontiers in Flight gets underway at 9 o'clock Saturday morning and runs through the weekend. Tens of thousands of people are expected to attend, so let's take a look at what to expect and what you can do to be prepared. First thing, before you even leave the house, you're going to have to have a government issued photo ID like a driver's license or a passport. You're not getting on the base without one. Now for parking. There are parking entrances along Rock Road and Pawnee and 10 different free parking lots. You can see them on this map here. There will also be shuttles available to get you from the parking lot to the air show. Now that you've made it to the entrance, here's what you can bring in with you. Water bottles, lawn chairs, and small bags less than a cubic foot are accepted. But other than water, you can't bring any outside food or drinks. Once inside, you'll need to find a place to sit. There's free seating all across the base. You can even use a plane for shade. The forecast calls for high temperatures in the triple digits all weekend, so you need to make sure to stay hydrated. While you can bring your own water, there are a number of water refill stations across the base. You can also cool off at one of these free cooling stations. While the airplanes are the main draw, there are also plenty of other activities available. For instance, the Budweiser Clydesdales will be on display here at Hangar 1111 Saturday and Sunday. There's also a kid zone with lots of activities and a STEM display. As I mentioned, parking and gates open at 9 o'clock Saturday morning. Flying starts at noon and the Blue Angels take to the skies at 3 p.m. At McConnell Air Force Base, Brock Wilson, 12 News.